the big city. Chapter One. It's a disgrace. The big city, the center of the rat race, the land of dog eat dog, headquarters of cat chase cat, and adopted home of one small sheep, a sheep by the name of Sheep. <laughs> sheep can't get a parking ticket in this town. That's because he doesn't have a car, and that's because he doesn't have any money. So much for dreams of lavishing gifts on Swanky. Swanky, the poodle he loves. Poor sheep, empty hooved. But wait, sheep's making a gift out of his own wool. A piece of Ori Lammy. Ori Lammy? Who are they kidding? Sheep hater extraordinaire! Ugh, get you, lovely sheep! I said get! 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 Stay away from my valuable doggy! Swanky, you're too special to be courted by such a nobody. You're special because I'm special. And I'm special because tonight, my giant diamond ring will win the first prize in the annual Diamond Gala Ball. How's that for a segue? Oh, and I wonder if we'll see that mysterious car again. Maybe. But first, let's go to... The Annual Diamond Gala Ball. What a nice banner. I enjoyed reading it so much. I'm sure to win special first prize, and when I do, I will bask in the glory. And you, Swaggy, will be reflected in that glory. I was cheated! Who do those people think they are, anyway? Let's go, dog! <laughs> Meanwhile, speaking of diamonds, which I guess we were, it just happens that the super wealthy Sultan of Swing is delivering the world's largest diamond to the city museum for a much anticipated exhibit entitled, I've Got the World's Largest Diamond. Wanna see it? The Sultan's diamond is worth 834 zillion dollars. Adjusted for inflation, plus tax and tip price does not include license, title, and registration fee. Dealer sets actual retail. Tail price. Is that Stu? Yes, it is, Ben. I haven't seen you since announcer school. How you doing, you old son of a gun? Can't complain. Got this big uh, narrating gig. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. Listen, I've got a job to do here. Oh, totally. Go for it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, back to the Sultan in his armored limousine. You nailed it, dude. Thanks. No, really. Shh. Time for a stretch break. A stretch break? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the oh, time. Oh, that's ah, good. Ah, oh, ah, stretch. Yeah. Ooh, ow. Oh, hey. hey, Sultan guy, as long as we're on a break, do you mind if we play a little catch? We have to be at the museum in 15 minutes. But the museum's only 10 minutes away. That leaves five minutes for catch. You guards don't take this guarding thing too seriously, do you? Don't be a party pooper. Just five minutes. All right. Yay! Yay. Wait a second. Look. I like a good game of catch as much as the next sultan, but can't you use a softball instead of my super valuable diamond? But the diamond is so pretty. That's why I'd hate for something to happen to it. Come on, use the softball. But we really, really want to use the diamond. We'll be so careful. Please? I'll be your best friend. Okay. But no more than five minutes. I'm timing. Go long! Hey. Huh? Oops. See? This is what I was talking about. Don't get all huffy, Sultan Man. Huffy? 
If you guys can't find it, I'm out 834 Zs. Maybe we should ask that sheep. Hey, sheep! Have you seen a big diamond anywhere? <laughs> what did he say? He just bleated. He said beat it? No, he just bleated. I don't think it's a language, just bleating. You are going to be bleating when I'm done with you if you don't find my diamond! I have no idea what that means. Hey, I'm not the one who let his guards play catch with the world's most valuable diamond. Hey, lay off him, man. Why don't you? Enough! Let's all just look for it. It's got to be somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm stumped. Keep looking! Diamonds don't just run away! Oh, come on, guys! Are you blind? It's obviously in the sheep! The sheep swallowed the diamond! I'm not 100% sure I follow what that strange voice just said. The diamond is inside the sheep! Uh, perhaps. Or just maybe... Oh my gosh! My diamond is inside the sheep! Quickly, before the freeze frame, get that sheep! Will sheep escape the clutches of the Sultan of Swing? Will the guards lose their jobs? And if they do, will they be okay for money until they find new jobs? Stay tuned for the bone-chillingly eye-popping answer to one of these questions in Chapter 2. You fleece in the sky with diamonds! And now, back to our heart-wrenchingly, spine-tinglingly exciting story. As you'd better remember, the world's most valuable diamond has been swallowed by sheep. And the Sultan of Swing is gonna do something drastic. Chapter 2. You Fleece in the Sky with Diamonds. Get that sheep a pillow! Don't you want us to hurt him? No! As long as my diamond's in that sheep, then that's the most valuable sheep in the world! Could we just hurt him a little? No! Let's go! Our five minutes are up and the museum is waiting! Four hours, 32 minutes, and six seconds later... I lost the diamond contest, Swanky. My reputation, like my silverware, is tarnished. It's that sheep's fault. That filthy beast made us late for the gala. The next time I see that sheep, I'll show him the meaning of pain. And I won't be using flashcards. Meanwhile, back at City Museum, night falls. Ah! Who's this? A mysterious intruder of some kind? Ah! <gasps> it's Farmer John! Stu? Sheep? Ever since you got this diamond in you, you've been ignoring me. You ignored me before, but this is different. Now you've got a diamond in you. Don't you see what I'm trying to say? What? Forget this fancy life. All that matters is what's inside. Not the diamond, but the other things, like the spleen. That matters, or the kidneys, or the small intestine. And let's not forget the liver. The liver really matters. Did I mention the esophagus? Staying in this case is your way of acting out your inner child. Or in this case, your inner diamond. You have a diamond inside you, sheep, and that's okay. Everyone's got their own special piece of jewelry in their stomach. Well, not everyone, but... Well, not anyone, but... It looks like Sheep can't take any more of Farmer John's psychobabble. He's trying to escape. 
Are you still listening to me? Listening is a love skill. Honey! How do you set this clock? I'm missing my stories! Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well. I guess I should stop saying blah over and over again and get going. I'll be back tomorrow night, okay? Over here, Piggy! Um, let's see what's going down with that rich lady. Hey, that was my line! I'm going to the city museum to see the Sultan's Diamond, Swanky. And if I happen to see that sheep, he'll wish he was somewhere other than where he is. Which is to say, not the same place as me. Being beaten. Oh, 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 out of the way! Rich woman coming through! Oh, my goodness! It's... It's... It's the most beautiful diamond I've ever seen! Mr. Sultan, I would like to buy this diamond. The diamond is not for sale. Bummer. However, anyone who can win my ancient, mysterious game of chance may possess the diamond. Are you... Brave enough. Very well. I'll try. You are thinking of a number between one and ten. What is it? Six. Darn! I always lose that game. And so the diamond was set in a beautiful ring, and Sheep began his new career as a valuable commodity. Yes, isn't it beautiful? Stunning! Exquisite! Abra Kadabra! Oh, is this the magician's party? It's across the hole. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, has Swanky found a new love now that Sheep's too busy to pay attention to her? Sure, Sheep's a nobody no longer, but at what cost? Has he lost Swanky forever? And what does it feel like to have something in your tummy that's worth 834 zillion dollars? Adjusted for inflation plus tax and tip price does not include license, title, and registration fees. Dealer sets actual retail price. Two? Are you still here? But I'm having so much fun. Listen, will you let me do my job? Oh, please, show me how it's done. Thank you. Stay tuned for the foot-poundingly, super-stupendously explosive conclusion in Chapter 3, Bell of the Bar. Oh, you're the master. You bet your sweet bippies do. Chapter 3, Bell of the Bar. <laughs> Now I know I can win the first prize at the Diamond Gala Ball. Too bad it won't be hailed again for another whole year. One year later... Let's go to the ball! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This year's Diamond Gala Ball! There she is, Lady Richington, with her priceless diamond beautifully set in 24-karat gold and 24-pound sheep. It looks like Lady Richington is a shoe in to win it all this year. Oh, here they come. Sheep, how does it feel to be famous? The center of attention, a real somebody. <laughs> that a boy. Hey, I got it. Great! How about five more minutes of catch? We should probably get going. After all, it's been over a year. Then what's five more minutes? All right. Uh, oh. Where'd that Sultan go, anyway? I'm up here, eating my fish and chips. Ha-cha-cha! Back at the hotel. Sheep, sheep, are you okay? <laughs> That's no sheep-encrusted diamond. That's just a sheep. Ah, a sheep! 
on my finger. Folks, sheep is back to being, well, a sheep. Just a regular old sheep who lives in an apartment in a big city. Lady Richington has lost her temper yet again. And as for Swanky, maybe she'll give sheep another chance. She's never wanted him for fame, glory, or money. Money is a registered copyrighted trademark of Sheep in the Big City Limited. No unauthorized use without express written permission. Stu, there is not room for both of us here, okay? I couldn't resist. Let me buy you lunch. Fine, just let me finish this. <clears throat> if sheep in the big city is the main course, then without question, our dessert is the ranting Swede. I tell you one thing, one thing that really stings my lutefisk, and that is plaid. You heard me right, plaid. The fabric with the checks and the stripes and it doesn't know what it is. Now, actually, I've got to tell you, it's not really every plaid, because a nice Stuart tartan or something like that, that could be attractive, too. I'm talking about the so-called <laughs> buffalo plaid, which I've never seen in a bottle of buffalo in my life. Never once. Once on a reindeer in a very cold night, but that was it. Never on a buffalo. It makes no sense. Thank you, Ranting Swede. 